I want to pretend like I'm in kindergarten again and color some stuff. You ever wished you weren't, you know, a professional and in the working world and you could just sit around and color all day? Well, back when I first started my photo restoration business, the image doctor, uh, we still printed things in the dark room with traditional paper and negatives and chemistry. And when we colorized, we colorized by hand, the same way it had been done for over a hundred years with transparent oil paints and cotton balls. Well, now in the digital world we can color a lot easier and a lot faster and if we make any mistakes we can just undo it and start over. So let's color this barge that's up on Lake Burton in North Georgia. I uh, spend a lot of time there and uh, uh, this barge has been uh, on the lake for years and years uh, basically as a work boat when people need to work on their docks or whatever. So let's add some color and we're just going to grab the paintbrush. This is it right here. It's also uh, on the uh, same palette as the pencil tool and the color replacement tool. So if you see one of these two, just use the fly out and select the brush tool. And the key to everything is the brush's mode. If we just went in normal mode, okay, and we picked us a color and we grabbed us a brush and we just started painting, you see it it puts color on top of the image well we don't want that we want to see the image through the color so let's go to window and history and go back a step all right now before we really start coloring on anything let's make a duplicate layer layer duplicate layer okay now let's go back to our brush tool here it is but let's change its mode we're going to go from normal to slide this slider all the way down and go to color mode because that's what we're doing. We're going to be coloring. I like to bring the opacity down to around 33, 34% uh, just so that I, I have several passes of the brush in order to build up 100%. And let's make this brush a little bigger, uh, maybe about this size. Okay, well, no, let's do a little lower. There we go, because we're just going to color the rust. I have a nice rust color here. And let's color the rust on the bottom of this boat. And it's got some rust up in here. And a little bit on the inside. Let's change to another color. We've got a green here. And maybe we can make a little bigger swipe of green. There we go. Now our mountains are super cool and green. Uh, this is a deeper shade green, so we just grab a different color. Maybe a darker green. And go with some of these trees here. You can color as fast as you want to or as slow as you want to. And uh, maybe uh, the water is kind of a blue-green. Maybe about like that. Okay, we're getting really unrealistic with the colors here. But you see where I'm coming from. When it's changed to the color mode, you see the image underneath. Well, this looks like these waters should be down in the Bahamas somewhere. But really, this water in this lake is so clear, you can see the bottom and, and see coins and things on the bottom at almost 15 feet. Um, so, you know, you can just go through your color palette here and change to all different types of colors. We'll make this a gray. Eh, it's already gray. Let's make it another color. Let's make this a blue boat, purple boat, whatever color we want, and just color it in. And that's how you use the brush in color mode.